Guys, it's Gus, and the Summer Festival is here. And if you are new to this game, you're going to find out this event is quite a big deal. Especially if you have an alt army, which I do. And I'm going to show you what I'm doing. Uh, I've noticed a few changes already. So I'm currently crafting myrrh on all my companions, or all my alts, trying to level up my workshops. But I'm going to cancel that for this three weeks. Uh, take them and I'm going to start crafting fire blossom petals and what's different is you don't use the summer artisan now you can use your own artisans that have unique skills you, you can use them like passion project miracle worker dab hand whichever uh, as far as I can tell dab hand does not work look at she has a 20% chance and I'm going to use up all her morale. And I have yet to see Dab Hand proc. I don't believe it does. But Miracle Worker does and Passion Project does. As you can see, no Dab Hand. So what you want to do is basically get either your fastest or lowest commission you have. Like um, this guy, he's great. You know, minus 75% uh, percent commission. So it's a quarter of one silver to craft. And he goes super fast, and he can negate, uh, negate that cost. So, not bad at all. And whichever ones you have, I'm just going to look around for uh, the dab hands. Pretty, I believe, useless. I'm just looking for the minus 50% commissions or plus speed. Uh, my alts. Uh. Oh, look at that one. Oh, wait, he's level 1. So, he only have a 58% chance of success. That's not good. Where is Unkra? Yeah, I'll use Unkra. She's great. And so you're just going to have these petals crafting around the clock. And with these petals, you can exchange them in the Summer Festival for pinatas. Let me show you. Uh, going to the Summer Festival. Now. And there's two main things you want to do daily in the Summer Festival. The first one you want to do when you come here is you want to talk to the quest giver, her. When you talk to her, you can talk to her every day, just talk to her, um, and she's going to give you this quest. It's not even a quest, you just get it. You get 65 uh, petals. Um, the squash soup is great, but it's random what it gives you, but it's going to give you one of these favor of Sunnis daily. And if you get 21 of those, if you do all 21 days, you get a free mount here in the tribute store. Which is this Rune Maker board? Uh, on all my alts, I'm not going to be getting that. I'm going to be getting this flowers for everybody, which is 220 uh, petals. So times that times 21. That's a ton of petals. And what you're going to do with those petals is you're going to come over here and talk to her. Oops. And you're going to want to get. Well, you can get this stuff if you want it. Uh, you can get the sorbet or the squash soup or the caprice. The issue with these is they're bound. So they have to be for personal use. Or you can get the pinata. And the pinata is great. Let me let me get a couple of them. So let me get over here away from everybody. They made they did some major changes to these pinatas. Uh first there's like a big cooldown on them. Where are you? Right here. So what you would do is you would split them. And so you'd be able to use this pinata and then use this pinata back to back. So they both get a cooldown now. 15 seconds. God, that's forever. I don't even know what buttons to use on this thing. What's this? A TR? Uh-huh. All right. So it drops some stuff. Where are? Where is it? So I got a potion, eight petals. And remember, they cost fifty petals, and you get three foods. So now it's dropping. Um, account bound refinement, unbound food, unbound potion. But they drop insignias and pres wards now. So I don't know if it's a nerf. To how much we can actually make from them. Uh, event food sells really good. Last year I got um, 25,000. 
uh, squash soups, 250 stacks, and you sold those for 350 a stack. Yeah, it was a lot of AD. The other thing you want to do is do your daily quest to make a Saha ball. If this is your first time doing it, you can. there's two ways to do this. You either have to play a Saha match or collect 10 flowers. Uh, I've already done the Saha match this year, so I don't have to do it on this character. So I'm going to collect 10 uh, flowers. And the first day or two is kind of a pain. After that, the flowers will start repopulating as soon as you pick them, so it's much faster. Um, usually, uh, a couple days into it anyways. And again, it's still iffy, but collecting these 10 can be a pain in the butt. It's very time-consuming, especially if you're in a populated instance. Um, generally, I don't save time by swapping instances, though. Looks like somebody just picked here. Yep. And if, as you can tell, my mount is very slow. I don't have the mount, the mount movement boon, because all my alts have their own guild for storage, and they're all level one, so they don't have anything. So it means going slow. Oh, I forgot to show you uh, one additional change to one of the foods. I'll show you as soon as I can um, finish this quest. It's the. Um, Grand Summer? No, not the... The Heroes Feast, or something like that. Well, since I'm up here, let me just show you. It's a significant... Wait, can you actually buy it in the store? Or do you? can you only craft it? Okay, you can only craft it. So let's go to Professions. And go to, over here, check this out. The Heroes Feast. Watch what this does. So usually you use it and it gave you a small buff, but it removed all your revive sickness. Now it removes you and nearby allies' revive sickness, plus it gives you 8% offensive stats, 2.5% hit points, and 1.5% um, uh, deflect. Of course, it probably does go away if you die, of course. But 30 minutes, that's a really good buff. I don't know... I'm not saying it's best, but it's much different than what it was in the past. So let me collect these flowers. I'm going to show you how to make a Saha ball. I got a couple more I got to do. I already forgot. I lost count. And getting there. Apologies. I already lost my bearing of where I'm supposed to go. I think I still have like three more. Jesus. Goodness. That one's been picked. That one's been picked. Ah, this one hasn't. Uh, apologies. This is making the video take a little longer than it's supposed to. Um, during the first few days, it's usually much, much busier than it would be, you know, towards the end of the event. You want to get your Saha matches on your new characters done sooner than later. Because after a while, nobody does the Saha. And people are going to be complaining about this Saha. Why is everybody AFK? Why is everybody AFK? Because nobody gives a shit. It doesn't matter if you win or lose unless they changed it. Uh, but it's pretty... Um, uh, you're basically just chatting in Alliance chat during that five horrible minutes. Okay, so now we got those ingredients. So now we're going to go to um, Professions. And we got to cancel one of these petals. And you can't craft the Saha ball yet because you need sailcloth. So you notice they gave us the ingredients for a sailcloth. And I have a little bit left over from last year. Uh, oh, that'd be cool if we could... <laughs> That's why we can't use Dab Hand. Uh, craft one. Craft. So now we got sailcloth. And now we can make... Oh, we need three sailcloth. Oh, I gotta collect it. Three. What? Did I just craft it? Okay, okay. Let's craft one more time. And then again. Good. I needed three. And I only crafted one. And then you go and craft this again. And you have a Saha ball. And you do that every day for 21 days. And you have 21 Saha ticket balls. 
and if you have 60 characters, you'll have over 1,200 Saha ticket balls. Yeah. Uh, this does, I'm making this look like it takes a long time. Uh, last year, I was able to do this in about an hour and 15 minutes per dune on most days. Or 100, an hour, hour and 15 minutes on all tunes. So, because um, I don't craft the Saha ticket balls um, each day. I just do them all in a lump sum, lump group. And so the Saha match, this is the big AD maker, not the Saha match, the vendor. So when you start kicking Saha balls, you're going to start getting these tickets. And the copper tickets, you can get more favor of Sunnis, more pedals. Uh, these these um, fashions are unbound, so you can sell them. And they go for quite a bit as well. Uh, last I look, they were around 400k. Um, south C, was it? Uh, yeah, around 400k. But there's other... The mithril tickets, I am shocked that they did not update this. Oh, I'm not shocked. Last year, they were, this was heavily discussed. They are very well aware about how useless this event has become. Uh, this, they didn't upgrade. It's a shame. So it's the silver tickets. So the silver tickets, you can use, you can buy a prez ward with 10 silver tickets. With 200 silver tickets, you can get the insignia. They're unbound. But where the big AD maker is, uh, is the Stronghold Box of Influence. Those have five vouchers, and those influence vouchers are going for 50K. Now, these vouchers that you get from these Stronghold lock boxes are, are bound. So you have to give them to another guild and... Hopefully, you guys can come to an agreement that's fair to both of you where they basically buy these uh, influence from you. If you don't have keys, you can just donate the box itself. But if you have keys, uh, you can open them and get a shitload of vouchers. I got, I, got, I think, 11 or 1,200 of these boxes last year. So around 6,000 vouchers, influence vouchers, eh, is a ton. You need stronghold box keys, though. And if you come here, you can buy them in the auction house if anybody's selling them. And as you can see, they're over 40k each. Uh, towards the end of the event last year, they were like 55k, 60k each. You can also buy them in the Zen market. And there's a sale right now, coincidentally, where you can buy 20 of them for 800. So that comes out to be 40 Zen each. If you uh, use the exchange, that's around 30k a piece. Um. Uh, <laughs> this is unbelievable how much you can make from this. Every guild that's growing needs influence. Uh, you just get massive amounts from it. Uh, the other big ticket item you're going to get is... They nerfed the time though. My god. I don't even know if I'll be able to open them all this year. These flower petals... When you start kicking the Saha balls, you're going to get... Tens of thousands of fire blossom petals on each of your char on your characters, yeah. and you can get these pinatas. So you're gonna get thousands and thousands of pinatas, and they drop prez wards, insignias, and unbound uh, consumables. Yeah. Now this is all coming from the perspective of having an alt army. The more tunes you have, the more you're gonna make. There is one big downside though. If you want to craft the Saha Ball, I believe you have to have, um, you have to have a workshop. So if you don't have a workshop uh, made, you're gonna have to play the Saha game, and that just takes forever. So I don't know what level your workshop needs to be. I can't. I'm not gonna delete a level 20 workshop just to see. Well, you can't. I'd have to delete the tune, uh, and I'm not gonna do that for the. I don't know, guys. Uh, I've been asked that a few times. I just don't know. Well, there's the Summer Festival. Stay class, never winner. See you soon.